hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you how to prepare mrenda actually this is a vegetable yes this is a vegetable no it's a greens yeah and so i'm going to show you how to prepare this type of greens actually it's so yummy so let's get started okay so as you can see you're going to take a branch and you're just going to do this This is how to prepare mrenda. Okay, people love to do this. So they can cut the stem, but for me actually I don't like it. So you just do this, you see. Just cut the leaves. Wow. So guys, this is what came from those stalks of vegetables. And so we are going to wash it. Then after we wash, we're going to cut it. Actually, greens you have to wash, then you cut. Not cut and wash because you're going to lose the green substances, and it means a lot in the greens. So let's get started. So here they are. I have washed them, and so actually you're not going to start picking small, small leaves so that you may cut you're just going to get a bunch and then you're going to place on a cutting board and then you start to cut so here it is we have chopped our vegetables as you can see so here it is ready to be cooked and don't forget this is mrenda mrenda So guys, here it is. I have prepared my garlic. This is my garlic and ginger paste. And here I have grated my almonds because you see the vegetables actually, they are so tiny. So I won't slice my almonds because they look so much big. I have grated and I have grated my tomatoes. So let's get into cooking. We have kept our onions in. So you're going to put some oil, just a little bit like that. <laughs> So we are going to keep our ginger in and garlic. We are going to stir this as well. Then we are going to add our tomato in. Uh, we are going to add some salt. Okay, so now our tomato has cooked so well. We are going to add our bowl guys. So guys, this is Miranda and it is so sticky as you can see so sticky so sticky oh my God. so we are going to let it cook like for five minutes then we are going to take it out so here it is our vegetable it is so it is ready to be served so let's Aha, uh -huh. so we come back and today, as I had said, I was going to show you how to cook mrenda and maini. So here I have my maini, a quarter maini, and here I have my hoho, my ginger and garlic paste. I have sliced my tomatoes and my onions, and here I have my salt, I have black pepper, and I have curry powder. So let's get into the pan. And actually, we are going to fry our maini because they cook so fast. Okay, yes, we're not going to boil them, we are going to fry them. So let's get into the pan. See, as the pan, you're going to put oil. 
that is enough as you can see our pan is so hot we will be taking our maini in just a little bit so you are going to stir them up and you are going to let it cook for some few minutes then we will be back so as you continue to cook you are going to add our ginger Well, wow, there is this beautiful aroma coming up from here. Then you're going to put some onions, the onions in here. So you are going to let your onions to cook for some few seconds, then you come back. We have put our hoho inside, continue stirring up, stirring up. We are going to put our tomato in. And we continue to stir. So we're going to leave in for about five minutes. So we are going to add our black pepper, our curry powder, and our salt. Then I am going to stir up again. So until they mix up well. Afterwards, you're going to add some rico, some rico sauce in it to bring out the flavor, the flavor of the things. Then you're going to add your soy sauce. Soy sauce. Going to stir. And you let it cook for some time. Wow, wow, wow. So as you can see, our maini is ready. It is ready. Super ready. So we are going to serve our food. Let's go. So our meal is here and it's ready. Look how beautiful it is. This is ugali, our maini, and our brenda. Oh my god. Let's test it. Amazing. You should try it out. Hmm? It's wonderful. Oh. The spices in here, they're good. And this is remember? Yeah. So goodbye. Until next time.